Shalom family, hope you're doing well today. Today's April 7th, 2024. And we just want to bring some articles that we found uh, through this past week, some interesting things that we've seen. And we, as always, you know, hope you discern as uh, you look through and listen to these videos and, and these articles that we sh that we present and show. Uh, definitely use discernment with all these things. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So this first one here is from NBC News. And many of you may have heard this by now, but there was the earthquake that took place a few days ago. It says a 4.8 magnitude earthquake rumbles New Jersey, New York City, Boston and Philadelphia. Interestingly enough, that 4.8 is uh, the date for tomorrow for the uh, eclipse. And uh, let's take a look here and see some other information. It says the quake struck a little before 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, but does not appear to have caused any substantial damage along the East Coast, according to officials. Uh, let's look through a couple things here. It says what we know so far, an earthquake struck the East Coast of the U.S. The USGS measured the quake as uh, 4.8 with its epicenter near Lebanon, New Jersey. It struck a little before 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. So many of you may have heard about that. It says uh, no injuries have been reported so far. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one here. This one's kind of interesting. Uh, this is from something on bit shoot from someone named Richie from Boston. Uh, and in this, the on this Fox channel here, the guy talks about we're not done yet. There's an earthquake coming on, or the earthquake on the eclipse, something like that. But well, you'll, you'll listen. You'll hear it. Let's uh, take a look at that. This is what happens when they realize that most people are absolutely, completely asleep, dumbed down, and don't realize what's going on. They can say the truth right in front of your face, and you won't even hear it, for the most part. Earthquake in 140 years, John. Look at all that. And it's not over yet because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on Monday. As Deborah Ross was telling us, it's going to be a transformative experience for anybody who is in the area of totality. You heard that a transformative experience. He said it's uh, we're not done yet. Let's take a look. Listen again. Because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on Monday. As Deborah Ross was telling us, it's going to be a transformative experience for anybody who is in the area of totality. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. We know the world is a stage. We know that uh, there's a lot of predictive programming, things that are put out ahead of time of what's going to be done in this world, but uh, it's pretty crazy. But again, use discernment with all these things that you see and listen to, but just want to bring this to your attention. Okay, family, we're going to talk about an article from USA Today, and it talks about a total eclipse is near. For some, it's evidence of higher power. For others, a warning. So I'll scroll through and see if there's anything interesting in this article but the gist of it is that ancient cultures viewed the dust-like darkness prompted by the passing of the moon between the earth and the sun, temporarily blocking the sun's light as a sign of the gods' anger or even their impending departure. So as we continue to scroll down, we see that... For some, it's an, an eclipse is yet another opportunity to witness the handiwork of God that exists in the universe, says Eric Moffat. He's the pastor of the Coriel's uh, church. So, um, or he says God, we would say Elohim, but we'll continue on. Uh, here we, it says eclipses have inspired fear and awe among civilizations throughout history from the Aztecs to the ancient Hindus. So many different groups see this eclipse as significant. Some people, as you, as we pen, as we uh, scroll down, see it as impending doom. Others see it as an opportunity to pray. So these are some of the things that are coming about uh, concerning the solar eclipse. So we'll go on to our next thing. This says Greg Abbott warns of war at the border coming really soon. And for those, and that's from Newsweek. And for those who might not know who Greg Abbott is, he is the governor of Texas. And we have a video for that one. Let's play the video and here we go. 
I'm going to start kind of beginning right now. So let me start right, that's this. Gonna be, let's let start me this one beginning. foreshadow also uh, another concern we're going to have really soon. It's already kind of beginning right now. Uh, and that's going to be drone wars. Uh, the, the capability of the cartels about getting things across the border through drones already is extraordinary. And they're going to be more aggressive, more sophisticated in the drone attacks. Uh, we, we can sustain a drone attack anytime. Okay, so that's something to be looking out and listening to. Uh, we will, I'll say to that, basically we're we're to be prayed up and to keep our eyes on the most high because there are things that are happening and it's just something to be aware of all right moving on to the next one it says mount etna below spectacular smoke rings in the sky and let's see we'll look at that video in a second here it says mount etna in sicily the largest active volcano in europe has been blowing spectacular smoke rings into the sky since wednesday the volcanic vortex rings, a rare phenomenon that is generated by the combination of rapid gas release and the vent shape, spewed out of a new crater that opened on Tuesday on Etna's summit. Let's take a look here. So just some interesting looking uh, rings coming up through from the volcano. All right, we'll stop there. Let's uh, move on to the next one. ABC News says, uh, this is from the 5th, so Friday, it says, U.S. Intel warns of potential terrorist threat at gatherings after Moscow attack. Let's see. Law enforcement officials express concern that radicals in the U.S. might respond to ISIS calls for similar attacks in the wake of last month's deadly terrorist attack at a concert hall in Moscow. The U.S. Intelligence Bulletin warns that ISIS operatives worldwide and so-called quote-unquote lone wolves might respond to recent statements from the terrorist group touting the attack in Russia and encouraging more attacks on public venues, even if individuals are not members of ISIS. Let's see if there's anything else here worth looking at. Uh, all right. So just be on, be alert as you're out and about, uh, you know, constantly just be aware of your surroundings and, and uh, just be watchful and just trust the most high is leading you and guide you. And before you go out, pray and seek him as to where you should be at and where you should be going, what you should be doing. And just be aware because these days are dark and getting darker and we definitely want to be alert and aware of what's going on all around about us. Okay, our next article that we found, former Air Force General warns EMP event could happen during April 8th total solar eclipse. Now, this is, let me scroll down a little bit. A retired United States Air Force General warned that an electromagnetic pulse EMP event could happen during the April 8th total solar solar eclipse retired usaf brig general blaine halt made this statement during a recent interview with inspired channel host gene nolan okay i think we have a, a video okay okay he continues i'm getting from a couple of places that there is a potential over the next few weeks and i can't co-locate it with april 8th but there is a possibility that somewhere in our nation there's going to be an emp or electromagnetic pulse event Holt told nolan okay so there there's that to be on the lookout for okay i'm going to move on to the next story and this says fbi dhs warn of potential threats in u.s following terrorist attack in moscow so i believe that 
says in the wake of the recent terrorist attack in Moscow, American intelligence officials have issued a cautionary bulletin warning individuals to be careful while attending large gatherings in the U.S. The bulletin released by the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security specifically highlights the potential for violence targeting mass gatherings such as sporting stadiums, concert venues, and places of worship. Concerns have also been raised regarding the upcoming solar eclipse scheduled for April 8th, which is expected to draw millions of spectators outdoors. So, I believe there's an, a video. We're going to play this video here. And security warning right here in the U.S. from the FBI and Homeland Security. Warning of potential threats to public gatherings. The timing of this and why they're concerned tonight. Here's our Chief Justice Correspondent, Pierre Thomas, with late reporting. Tonight, FBI and Homeland Security officials are warning U.S. law enforcement about the potential for terror inspired by that deadly ISIS attack in Moscow targeting a concert hall. The concern, according to the bulletin, violence targeting mass gatherings such as sports stadiums, concert venues, or houses of worship in the United States. Law enforcement told to be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. The bulletin coming just days before millions will gather to watch the eclipse on Monday. Authorities say following the Moscow attack, ISIS and its supporters celebrated the assault and shared graphic and violent attack footage. The terror group calling for similar attacks in the United States. I'm told U.S. law enforcement is being urged to take this bulletin seriously. Sources say ISIS remains a very real threat. If you're planning to attend any large group settings or anything, like we said earlier, stay prayed up. Make sure you're in tune with the Most High so you can hear him if he's telling you not to go to some place or, you know, just be aware of your surroundings and don't leave the home, your home without the Most High and the guidance of his, his rock, his spirit. All right. Let's take a look at the next article. It's from USA Today. It says, she's electric, watching lightning strike the Statue of Liberty emerge from her torch. Well, now let's head to New York City, where the Statue of Liberty was hit by lightning. This picture was taken during the storms yesterday. The lightning bolt seems to have directly hit and come out of Lady Liberty's torch there. So I don't know. You can almost take it in two different ways. Lightning coming from the sky and hitting the torch, or maybe the torch was just firing up a big, strong bolt to the sky. Either way, though, uh, it does look like it's going to be one of those stunning times for many photographers to remember, as it looks like a couple different versions here captured, but a really neat sight nonetheless. All right, let's stop it there. So, yeah, interesting. That wicked statue there uh, got struck by lightning. Looked like multiple times. Definitely no lightning bolt came out of it, but it definitely was struck. But... You know, it's uh, we've seen lightning hit uh, many different buildings before, especially in New York and some of these tall skyscrapers. Statue of Liberty is definitely a wicked one for sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the next article here. All right, let's take a look at this uh, here from Yahoo. Uh, says the eclipse from ancient paganism to American history has been a thing. It says nothing reminds us that we are on a celestial island surrounded by the abyss, like watching our planet's energy source turning or turn into a gaping black hole. This is nonsense. We're not on the planet. This is the Earth, and there is no planet. We're not uh, spinning around on a ball, as we've mentioned in previous videos, and we'll maybe talk about that later. But let's continue on here. Uh, but don't take my word for it. From occult and pagan lore to American history, and yes, Hollywood or Hollyweird, sol solar eclipses have been harbingers of doom, transformation, and revolution since time immemorial. Let's see what else is on here. And, and, and yeah, we, we do agree that the eclipses are signs and the warnings from the Most High. You know, Genesis 1 talks about that the moon and the sun and the stars, they're in there and up there to give us information, signs and warnings and uh, information on seasons and so on. So, you know. We know for sure this is a warning from the Most High. As what, what what the warning is, we don't know. So what we've done over the past couple of weeks, we've taken some moment to fast and and pray and we'll continue to do so. Uh, we encourage you to do the same as we're entering in what we think is an, a new time period in this in this world. So definitely seek the Most High. You know, the 
article talks here some more things about how there's some occult things that take place through these eclipses and you know a lot of dark energy and things that that happen and what they're looking to you know those in the occult are trying to do perform certain black magic stuff and just just weird things rituals and just all kinds of evil so you have to be aware too that this this is looked at on in the occult as a a time of uh gathering and harvesting energy and, and using that for their benefit so you have to stay prayed up as we we've mentioned already so just be on alert be vigilant be watchful and definitely take time to seek the most high as to what he's leading you to do and definitely be in a place of repentance constantly daily be in a place of repentance okay we're going to move on to the next article which is from the new york post and it says massive container ship loses power near new york city's verrazano bridge days after baltimore key bridge disaster so it looks like there was another could have been a possible another situation with another large uh, barge and a bridge but for this one uh, it says a massive container ship lost power in the waters around new york city and was brought to a rest near the verrazano narrows bridge friday night less than two weeks after failure on another massive cargo vessel caused it to smash into baltimore's francis scott key bridge now we do have a video for this one so let's go to that video let me make it bigger for you and here we go Okay, so it looks like another situation, but this one was uh, not as disastrous as the Baltimore uh, bridge disaster. And then finally, we'd like to end our stories with this story. Trillions of cicadas set to emerge in historic U.S. invasion. It says in the coming weeks, the United States is set to witness a natural phenomenon of almost mythical proportions as trillions of cicadas emerge from beneath the ground. Periodical cicadas known for their 13 or 17 year life cycles will make a brief but overwhelming appearance across parts of the southeast and Midwest Midwest. Sorry about that. So that's something else that's something to look forward to two i guess if you live in this area where they will emerge so trillions of cicadas all right y'all that's the end of it for today uh we hope that uh you got something out of this uh, as we said already make sure you use discernment with all these different things uh, continue to pray seek the most high trust him that he's leading and guiding you uh make sure you spend time in his word stay rooted and grounded in his word We'll be back with some additional content uh, coming up soon. We appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Helps us out. Helps us reach more people. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Until next time, family. Shalom. Shalom.